All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Undisputed video, and I'm going to test out more of these new women that were added. Let's have another showcase video. Maybe go one of the lighter weights this time. Uh, so we've, we've got Heather Hardy, or... Where is she? Uh, Sendiesa Estrada, 84 and an 83. Might just put them against each other so we can see them both on the screen. There's Estrada stats if you... Whoops. There's Estrada stats if you're interested in any of that. No traits for it. Up to now, I'm, I'm guessing. Is she uh, orthodox or... Yeah, she's orthodox. We'll go against it. There's Heather Hardy's stats if you're interested in that. Heather's got a straight, but... To the girl hasn't. And there was another venue, I think, that they made sort of lighting changes to. I think it was uh, Kiritsu. Oh, I do want to do Lighthouse eventually, but it's still not working for me at the moment. Every time I, I try to pick it, it just won't load in. Uh, difficulty on Undisputed as usual. Uh, damage on 1.5. Let's get it on! Yeah, just in case you didn't know, the difficulty on every one of these videos is always an undisputed. I mean, you see me pick it in every video. The only reason I'm saying this is I had some fucking mouth breather the other day message me in the comments saying that it, uh, these videos are fake. <laughs> like, I'm editing these videos because I, I win all the time. Like, it's easier in his head to, to believe that that the videos Super are being faked rather than to sort of believe that the AI is just not that difficult on the hardest setting. Intrigued. So, like I said, in his, in his mind, it's easier to believe that I'm just editing videos <laughs> to make it look like I'm winning all the time. And Talk about hot tell you what, in the, house. the world's got so some crazy people in it, I'll tell you that. Watching this fight. Super bad. Sinisa Estrada. She won the WBA Sinisa, I was saying title Sinisa. in March of 2021. It fights out of Los Angeles, California, USA. And here comes Heather see if I can sort of um, notice what the lighting changes on this venue. Maybe it's uh, the actual match lighting, like when you're fighting. I felt like it was a little bit too overexposed on this arena. Like, the skin looked really bright on some of the fighters because of the lighting. Uh, I think it was the same for the lighthouse as well, so maybe they sort of just toned that sort of overexposure on the skin down a bit. In the red corner, from East Los Angeles, here is a women's minimum weight and a women's junior flyweight champion of the world, introducing super bad Sanisa Estrada. Hiding out of the blue corner from Brooklyn, New York, presenting the WBO featherweight champion of the world, introducing Heather, the Heat Hardy. It was funny when they do that sort of animation there, when the camera's close up and you can see their eyeballs, like their eyeballs are like very like, I don't know, that movement of the eyeballs is not smooth, is it? It's like very, uh, I don't know what the word is there, like the... There's like a static sort of movement. If that makes any 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 sense to the to the eyeballs, I can't quite explain it. So it does athletes. look a little bit less overexposed. The lighting. So let's just see if me me one two sort of AI fighters. pattern is still going to be in effect here. I'm expecting the same AI out of H Hardy's AI because this is what. This is what we've we've been given now, so this is how you've got to play the fucking game. Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown. It's so hot, it's so heated. There's a roof on here, you don't understand. When you're working, when the noise is there, the pressure's on, you're thirsty, you're sweating, and you're getting under, you're on the wrong side of a beating. This can be hellfire on earth. Throws the jab, but it doesn't score. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. This fight has a real good flow to it. 
This is all about ego. Safety is out of the window. Tactics are out of the window. They don't need gloves. They need beer glasses. The way they're fighting, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Johnny Lawrence fucking thinking there's a brawl happening. Yeah, Johnny Nelson, Johnny Lawrence. Where am I getting that from? Who the fuck's Johnny Lawrence? It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking with this AI change. I just don't understand what they were trying to do. You know, someone said, like, maybe, you know, a few updates back, the AI got, like, a little bit over aggressive and someone said well maybe they sort of di dialed it back a bit and it's made it defensive and then they've got plans to sort of like have it meet in the middle a little bit further down the road so it's going to be defensive and aggressive maybe this is this is just like a trial i know that's what they're doing they're just kind of like figuring it out as they go along but it seems like it's gone a bit too extreme in the other direction when it was already in sort of like a a, a fun place to play you know what i mean it still needs a lot, a lot of work. They're both trying for a knockout. I mean, look at this. It's just... This is the game now. <laughs> this is the game. That jab got her. She can't miss with that right jab. She can't miss with that jab. God, this girl feels this? like she's got Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. Like, her reach feels so fucking short. Nice punch. Has Hardy even threw one punch at me yet? Like... Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. There's a right hand. Very close match. He the the, the compy box punch stats for Hardy are going to be fucking through the roof, aren't they? The, no the punch tick is going to have a hard time keeping up with what's turn. going on. Hardy's output is just too fucking too much for it to deal with. So much for boxing. This is a fight. This is just a focus mid session. Oh, that jab had to hurt and her. Head of Hardy is, is basically a human focus mitt. Just letting me practice a fucking jab, fucking straight combination. She misses with the jab. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. The actual challenge here is for me to not gas myself out. <laughs> like, I don't have to worry about anything coming back at me. It's just make sure I don't get gassed and then get caught with a fucking counterpunch from Hardy if she ever decides to throw one. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. Who's willing to go where the other fighter won't? They better start respecting each other's punching power. Oh, there's a there's a two punch combination from Hardy, double it up on the right hand, and again, sort of woke up a bit now. You can't find a home for that jab. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. <laughs> Trying to land that jab. Swing and a miss with that jab. Nice shot with the left. 
You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Exhilarating gameplay. I'm fucking stimulated beyond belief. Been <laughs> on the edge of his seat. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're gonna find out. A perfect counter shot. A little bit of clinch work from Hardy, changing it up a bit. gonna say I can't take it anymore. Can't find a home with that jab. Can't find a home with anything. <laughs> fucking blocking everything. Just miss with that jab. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. It feels like I'm playing a completely different game now, like since this update. It has changed so drastically, it, it doesn't even feel like the same game anymore. They are giving us a high tempo show. No rest for the weary. No power in those punches. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's talk about Sanisa Estrada. After what we saw in that last... Time for the fifth round. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. This can be so frustrating when you remember such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Well, at least and she's clinching up. Kel Brook fight, wasn't even doing that all that much out. in the, the Kel Brook video the other day. He wasn't even clinching. She's clinched twice. Miss with that jab. Caution being thrown to the wind. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Look at how much damage she sort of does to me off just the little the little uh, moments when she comes alive and lands on me. How much damage she does to me. It's all offense all the time. Compared to sort of these like overall just chipping away at her, you know, shots when she's got no block. You know, they, they definitely have like adjusted the damage like but not getting really a chance to see the benefits of it just because she blocks every fucking strike that I'm throwing. The only way I'm able to gauge the damage is when she lands on me. Like I'm not, I'm not able to to get a read on like, oh, you know, my counter punch damage there was was just about right because I, you know, I pull countered with a nice uppercut and I'm not getting to see any of that because the AI is just blocking most of my offense. So I have to just judge it when it hits me instead. And you know, is it doing too much damage? Is it is it doing too le too less damage? Like not enough? I don't know. I think this is in a huge mess at the moment. This this fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit. 
be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to outthink him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little Fagin and pickpocket them. You've got to be like a little Fagin and pickpocket them, haven't you, Johnny? You write a script like this. It's what you've got to do. Like Rocky versus Apollo. The jab doesn't quite connect. Just when you think they're going to have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Now you've got two fighters that are right. Heather Hardy using the, the Homer Simpson strategy of just letting somebody punch you, you panic, you get until they run out of stamina, <laughs> until they exhaust you themselves. Mistakes, you get knocked out. Then Hardy's just going to like push on my forehead and then just watch me fall over. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Can we actually do enough damage to it? Before we get to the fucking tenth round. Nice punch. Very close round with ten seconds to go. <laughs> Let's talk about Sinisa Estrada. That and there's the bell for round seven. Coming off that great round. Let's see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last run, everything works. Bit of a Wait bit of fourth reaction. wall breaking and there so from Johnny Nelson. If it's not broken, don't doing, change it. That, hands down. that meta commentary there from Johnny. Talking straight to the fucking Unlucky developers. To miss with that jab. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. That's a scoring left hand. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. So much firepower here. It's everything we dreamt of. It's everything we've got excited and giddy for. This is what we're here for. Couldn't land that jab. This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. Good left hand. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Nice counter punch. Let's talk about Sinisa Estrada. Well, it's no secret. And there's the bell for round eight. And this, I'm going to below round. half stamina. I'm going to gas here. myself out. You know, I did this exact same thing using Nigel Ben, but because his stats are obviously better in terms of like cardio and you know damage when he's actually connecting, I was actually able to hurt Kelbrook by doing this. But because I'm using one of the women, and obviously their stats are going to be way weaker. This is taking a lot longer. Good job getting out of the way of that left. Oh, shots to the body from Hardy. She blocks the jab. Someone tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to. Nice exchanges from both women in this round. 
This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and have a tell. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry. So, so I've got to be careful in those little exchanges oh, there when she decides I've to do seen something. Some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before when my stamina is low, I've just not got to the be there. They have the speed they have. And that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about Sanisa Estrada. Both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Probably the same that we've had for the last fucking eight rounds, mate. <laughs> if I had to guess. So much for boxing. This is a fight. Can't land that jab. Quick punch scores. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight fire with fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Good counter punching. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. That's another scoring shot. One punch could change everything in this battle. Oh, <laughs> got caught in the middle there. Good punch. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. They both want the knockout. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. All right, last round coming up. I know I'm not saying much, but to be honest, there's not really much to say. Like, I haven't really got much to say. And this is the game now until the next update. So this is what we've stuck with for the next couple of months. And all I can say is, thank God, career mode is not here. With, that hand speed that this <laughs> with this AI, how do you deal with it? I was kind of looking forward to the career mode come prior come to this update, but if this is the AI we're going to be getting I going into the career mode in the new year, the like I couldn't care less. This is a natural gift. All of a sudden, I've just lost massive interest in the, in the career mode. If this is the AI we're going to be getting. What I know it's punch. constantly going to get changed, but I'll be relieved if it sort of go reverts back to sort of closer to what it was. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Swing and a miss. Good one.
She blocked. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Nice counter shot. What a dominant performance, and it shows up on the Well, there's a 25 minutes of our lives that we'll never get back again. So, that's that. That's a Sinesa Estrada, everyone, showcase video. Let's have a look at the punch stats there. 462 blocks from the AI. And I only like I only had 416 punches that actually threw a th you know 1,183 punches, and the AI uh, sorry and I landed 416 of them, but the AI made 462 blocks. Phenomenal. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.